Hello there beauty, it's your girl Eunice Marie here and so today's topic is going to be about why deodorant is not good for you. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Eunice Marie and my channel is all about beauty from skincare to hair care, tutorials, makeup, DIYs, all that fun stuff. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button and if you like what I do, make sure you give me a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your post notifications so that you guys are notified when I upload. So, as you guys know, or if you don't know, I have been three plus years on this whole natural journey of just using natural alternatives or natural options when it comes to my underarm care. And if you guys don't know, I have a full playlist from um, a detox to different deodorant, natural deodorant reviews to DIYs. I will leave the playlist here so you guys can go and check all that out. But I thought that I'd make this video and kind of explain to you why deodorant is not good for you and this is my breakdown this is my personal opinion as to why I stopped using deodorant okay or the traditional deodorant should I say our store bought deodorant with aluminum in it there are two reasons why we use deodorant number one is for sweat control and number two for scent okay if you think about the anatomy of the arm or if you look at the anatomy of the arm usually the underarm we sweat to release toxins and to regulate the temperature. Odor comes out because you're releasing toxins and it sits on the skin and that's bacteria in the sweat which causes odor. Lymph noids are underneath your arm. It filters harmless substances and it also is linked to your immune system. You have lymph nodes there that are removing toxins. You have sweat that removes toxins. So why is this a big deal when it comes to aluminum? Well, Aluminum blocks toxins from leaving the body, also known as sweating, all right? So what happens when you have aluminum in a deodorant that blocks your body from naturally removing toxins? Aluminum, which stops you from sweating, which stops you from releasing toxins out the body, can clog the lymph nodes, okay? And this can lead to health issues like breast cancer. You guys have heard about this. Um, also, you get that lump under the arm. Um, and it can lead to other health issues because what are you doing? You're blocking your body from allowing yourself to sweat and allowing yourself to naturally release those toxins that are not supposed to be in your body. It's like, okay, it's like this. It's like you have to really go to the bathroom and you're not able to go or you don't go and your bladder is really full and then you end up getting a bladder infection because you're holding in your urine because you're holding in those toxins same thing with the underarm you know if you're not releasing those toxins if you're not letting that naturally come out you're backing that up into the body and that can cause illness we all know that that is just Plain and simple, you don't hold in your poop, you don't hold in your urine because those are toxins to the body that need to be released. And sweat is one of those, okay? And also too, aluminum is absorbed by the skin. Now I tell people this all the time, whatever you put on the skin, the skin is like a sponge. It's gonna soak it all up, it's gonna take it all in, and you know, it's gonna go into your bloodstream and that can lead to a lot of health issues as well. But I just wanted to make this video really simple. I didn't want to get too detailed into science and all of that, but I wanted to make it really clear cut and to the point of where I stand with um, natural deodorant, why I decided to stop using it, and also to um, just a little bit of information for you guys out there. That's pretty much it, you guys. That is a quick snapshot of why deodorant is bad for you. My own personal reason why I stopped using deodorant because I want to be able to allow the toxins to leave the body. And I will be having another video talking about the transitioning into natural deodorant and how sweating and all that and how yeah it's going to be uncomfortable and things of that sort and we're going to talk all about that in another video if you guys have any questions for me about natural care of under the arms or anything that has to do with the natural underarm world leave your comments down below let me know if you're currently going natural underneath the arms let me know what you're using let me know if you tried it and you hate it or just you know let me know your thoughts and all that down below let's get the conversation going and with that being said you guys thank you so much for watching this sugar Eunice marie make sure to rate comment subscribe all that fun stuff and i will see you in a later video bye